Let's briefly talk about the difference between static and dynamic addresses. A static IP address is one that is configured manually. We, as administrators, actually type in the IP address to important devices, servers, and things of that nature. However, dynamic IP addresses are ones that are configured automatically. Clients will normally get dynamic IPs. They will obtain their IP information automatically from a DHCP server somewhere on the network. So here we have a laptop and a server. Generally, a laptop would be assigned an IP automatically by a DHCP server. So this would be obtaining dynamic IP address information. However, the server itself, we would normally configure with a static IP address so that we know what the IP address is and we know that it'll never change. But it doesn't make any sense to use static IPs on clients because there's so many and it would take so long to manually configure those. So we set them up to automatically get their IP information. Let's show an example on a Windows 10 system here. And I'm in the network connections window in Windows 10. And you can see I have a lot of network connections here. But the important ones are this. This is my wired connection, which is known as Ethernet. And this, which is my wireless connection, known as Wi-Fi. The wired connection I have configured manually. It's a static IP. I want it that way so that I know exactly what the IP address is and I can connect to it and make changes to it whenever I want. But the Wi-Fi connection is configured dynamically. It's obtaining an IP address automatically from a Soho router. So let's show the properties for each. Prod redo that sentence. So let's show the properties for each. If we right click on the ethernet connection and go to properties and then scroll down to internet protocol version four and click properties, you'll see the IP information. And you can see that we have selected the radio button, use the following IP address. And I've already typed in all this information. So the IP address for this particular laptop is 10.42.0.250. And all the other information has to be typed in as well. So this is a static IP configuration. It's manually configured. I actually did it. I'm going to cancel out of these and go to the Wi-Fi adapter right click on that and go to properties and once again go down to internet protocol version 4 and properties here you can see that it says obtain an IP address automatically and in fact this is the default setting for Windows clients their TCP IP settings will be set to obtain an IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically as well and so I'm actually getting this information from the DHCP server on my network, which is within a Soho router. And if you wanted to see that information, you could go to your command line. For example, we could go to the PowerShell and run an ipconfig slash all. That'll show the information for all of our network connections. Now we have a ton of those. So we'll scroll back to the top here. And the main one I want is the one called Ethernet. That's my wired connection. If we look here, it says DHCP enabled. No. Prod redo that sentence. If we look here, it says DHCP enabled. And here it says no. No DHCP. We are not obtaining an IP address automatically. I have configured it statically. And there's that address, 10.42.0.250. So this is the statically configured wired connection known as Ethernet that we showed in the properties here in this Ethernet device. And within our IP config slash all, if we scroll down and look for our Wi-Fi adapter, and here it is. It's a wireless LAN adapter called Wi-Fi. We'll see DHCP enabled. 
Indeed, yes, it is. We are obtaining an IP address automatically for this adapter, and I'm getting it from my Soho router, which exists at 192.168.41.1. And the IP address that that device has given me, which we don't see in the network properties, is 192.168.41.101, the first IP within that DHCP scope. And it gives me everything else I need as well, the default gateway and the DNS server. So there's a little bit of the difference between a statically configured IP and a dynamically configured IP. Now, if we take another look at our typical TCP IP setup, which we showed in a Prod, redo that sentence, please. Redo sentence, prod. Now, if we go and review our typical TCP IP setup, which we showed in a previous video, we'll see examples of both. This client and this client are obtaining their IP addresses automatically from a DHCP server. This one is 192.168.1.73, and this one is 192.168.1.142. Where exactly that DHCP server is, I don't know. Doesn't really matter to me as long as those computers are getting their IP addresses automatically. Could be at a Soho router or wireless access point or a proper server that's running DHCP server software. But that's the whole idea. We have lots of clients, PCs, laptops, mobile devices. We want them to obtain their IP addresses automatically so that we don't have to configure them all one by one. However, a device like this router or this firewall or this switch or these servers and possibly printers, they should normally be configured with a static IP address, one that we manually configure and one that doesn't change. And that's the case with this router, which is known as our gateway, which is 192.168.1.1. We configure that in manually so that we know it never changes. But again, all these client systems, they should be obtaining their IP address information automatically so that it streamlines the process and makes things more efficient for us as administrators. So remember the difference. Static IP addresses are configured manually and dynamic IP addresses are configured automatically.